To most small and medium enterprises, raising capital means a journey to the bank. Speaking on the sidelines of the Top 100 Forum, experts, however, assert that options such as equity financing are actually critical for an enterprise with a long-term vision. And bank financing is good. It's fantastic for financing working capital requirements. But when it comes to growth, it's very difficult to peg cash flows from an investment with certainty. So if you're going to be financing growth with short-term funding, it's always, it's always a mismatch. And that, that usually ends up choking, choking um, the availability of funding of your business, which is, we all know is the lifeblood of any business. Equity financing involves the sale of the company's stock and giving a portion of the ownership of the company to investors in exchange for cash. However, any business aspiring to take equity financing as an option, certain attributes, however, have to be worked on first. There's private or public equity. I know public is a little bit more rigorous to fulfill, the requirements are a little bit more rigorous to fulfill. So private uh, equity is, is sufficient, it's good, it's a good alternative for SMEs to consider. But they need, really need to strengthen their governance, right from recruitment, right to, to board management, to record keeping. Usually when businesses are starting, the records and the, the entire management process is very clear in the entrepreneur's mind. When it comes, as the business has to grow, you need to have proper record, uh, records kept. At the time when many small and medium enterprises in the country are decrying the high loan interest rates and an unfavorable banking terms regime, options such as equity financing may be the most viable left for the most viable business entities.